Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Arknight video and today we're going to be doing a Annihilation 2 run which I know it's been out for a long time but I didn't see any videos in particular or at least I couldn't find any for uh, 3 stars and below clear so we're going to do that right now and as we do a not dramatic entrance into this Hit start. There we go. So this is our lineup. Um, we're definitely going to be using Lancet here as our third healer. Because there's no other options for, for healing really. At least in the three star and below side, side of things. Lancet is going to be your third. I don't know if anyone else is doing stuff like this. But you know. Well, yeah. Anyways. Let's not get off topic. Everyone here is capped out for the most part. Uh, even their potential except for... Uh, I think Stewie. Stewie and Lancet. Uh, Stewie's at 5, but it's not that important. Uh, everyone's skill is currently maxed out at 7. You, cannot, you can't go higher. With the exception of Lancet, because I can't see the pool of robot tags. Which seems, I don't know, it's surprisingly rare, to be honest. Alright, so I'll explain the lineup as we go into the game. I think that'll make more sense and whatnot. I'll try to do as much explanation as I possibly can. So, first thing we do is throw Fang right here on this tile, facing towards the enemy, and then we'll throw Melantha right next to her because she needs a friend. It's a lonely, it's a, it's a lonely world. And it doesn't really matter who you throw, but I'm gonna throw uh, Stuart here just so I don't forget um, to put, you know, just so I don't forget to put him down. I don't want him to be last because there's gonna be uh, units that come out of this uh, little square box thing over here. And if he's the last one, then they're going to target him, which isn't bad because uh, he's not going to get a healer. He's on his own little island, so there's that. But I need him for the DPS because we can't use Shaw over here, which is usually where you would put your units. Mm, we can throw we can throw a cross here. Yep. The order of this isn't really too picky. Uh, you throw Melantha here because while she can only tank one, she has really good DPS and she's also very tanky too. She is an amazing unit to have. But also because there's, there's also not too many uh, guys that come on to this tile, everyone's pretty much going to, be going to try to football tackle the, the thing here. Eventually we're going to throw a Carnegie in here um, in the tile in front of her. But I mean, that won't be until much, much later. Probably around 300. You can throw it sooner. It's not really that big of a deal. But the later you do it, the better, I think. Just just in case some, something does go wrong, you know, you'll have an extra deployment points to kind of like fix whatever it is. But hopefully you won't, ha hopefully you won't have to. We are going to be using some uh, deployment stuff, though. Alright, what's the next day? I'll uh, probably want to throw, you know, I'll probably throw a lava here. Because this whole wave can survive. Let's go times two. My bad. But like I was saying earlier, um, you would normally throw a Shaw facing downward, as many of you probably know. You know, because uh, around 250 is where those the, the stealth guys show up, the splinter cells, as I, as I like to call them. <clears throat> and they go past defense, or they go past blocks, or they ignore blocks, I should say. So and throw a lava here. So Shaw usually will help will help you out and push him over. So if you fail the DPS check on that phase, you know Shaw's there to back you up. You could also throw Cliffhart here or Rope, someone who can pull basically to kind of take care of this little area. But since we do not have her, we're gonna be using Lancet and um, Plume. Anyways, that's enough of the explanation. We can throw we can throw our Orchard right here. She will provide some DPS as well as slowing down this little uh, tile, or these these tiles back here. At least slow down the stealth guys so that they don't just, you know, just rush in here with guns blazing. Uh, next thing we'll throw, uh, we throw a healer. It's not, it's not necessary, but we can do it. Or is that necessary right now, I should say. You'll definitely need a healer. <clears throat> For obvious reasons. Lava here is very good because she's AoE, she can nuke down whatever comes into these squares. And Stewie is is also an arts damage dealer, which, which is also good for taking down some of the units here. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll throw in, I forgot his name, but the other guy with the crossbow. Uh, it's uh, Cross's, um, I don't know, boyfriend, I guess? I don't know. He looks cool though. He's got like a halo off to the side, kind of like, uh, like the thug life. 
I'm definitely appreciating it. And the yellow cat eyes, I also really like. And then we'll throw in our last healer here. And like, like I said before, we're, we're going to have two healers healing the tank that we're going to eventually throw here. Alright, now we've got two more things to throw down and then we're basically done. We can just... You can step away, maybe make some popcorn, uh, pick up your kids. Probably not pick up your kids because um, that'll probably take too long. The run will most likely be over, so we'll drop Plume over here. <coughs> facing down. You can also throw them up here too. Well, you probably don't want to throw them up here. Just because, uh, you know, people will, or people can take down uh, uh, Lancet. The guys that come out of here. The, the guys with the Molotovs. So I find it that down here is actually safer because Lancet will never die. Knowing that he is untouchable in this little island here. So that, that's kind of why I like this position better. That's why this position is better, sorry. Let's be, let's be direct. Or let's be affirmative. Yeah, though, neither, like, neither of those words are, are the ones I'm looking for. But, like I said before, you, you, you can ignore this whole thing until about 250. <clears throat> so, I'll go ahead and work on some other accounts here. And drink some well-deserved water. Oh, sh holy crap! <laughs> oh, I like, popped the lid. Alright. Uh, never have too much water. Yep, they go Orchard. No, she wasn't the last person I threw, but in the order of operations, since, you know, she's... Yeah, well, you kind of get how, how it works. <sighs> Let's go in the Orchard instead of, her, instead of him, basically. It's pretty much the last and close... It's pretty much the last, the last um, operator that you deploy, plus the closest one to it. Is, is where the aggro is gonna go so while she wasn't the last uh, she's also the one that they target first and then they'll go and then they'll eventually switch over to the healer which is ideal because generally the healers are, are tankier than some of the supports and and mages out there not always the case but sometimes it's a case by case kind of thing here but going, off, going a little bit off topic, since we have time to kill, we don't have to do anything here. And by the way, uh, Plume is perfectly fine down here. You don't have to do anything, you know. You just, you just put Plume and Lance it, and then you forget about that whole side. You don't, even, you don't even have to pop the skill here if you don't want to. You do it for, like, flare effect, but not not a big deal. But yeah, like, like I was going to point out, does this not look... So this is a Voss uh, water bottle, which is the coolest water bottle I've ever seen. I'm not sponsored. Because, well, no one watched it. like like no one watches my, my YouTube videos, so there there's that going for me. But like I was saying before, this looks like a teenage mutant ninja, uh, ninja turtle, like that green goo container stuff. If you've seen the movies or even the cartoons or whatnot, that that's what this looks like. I don't know. It has nothing to do with what's going on here, but honestly, nothing's going on here. So, so I throw it out there. <clears throat> But I must say though, today is a very gloomy day. Not a lot of or not a lot of sunlight, despite being 5:30 p.m. Of course, a.m. is like completely dark. If you're up at 5:30 a.m., you start to question why why you're even awake. Unless you're like 65, then there's 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 some reasons. There's some happy young people that that you can. Get mad at. Not saying all old people are grumpy, but there are some grumpy ones. Alright, so everything is looking beautiful. We're almost at 250, which is good. The sooner we get there, the better. Come on, where did my mouse go? So, I'm using, so, so currently I'm using blue stacks. Oh, they're starting to come in. And I, despite how big the screen is, this mouse cursor is so freaking small. There's so many times where I just lose it. Where I just don't remember where it is. Plus, I have two other screens. So, like, the mouse just goes everywhere. If it was just capped at one screen, I feel like it'd be easier. Like, I can just wiggle it around a little bit. I was supposed to pop a skill here, but I forgot. 
I guess it didn't really matter. We can go ahead and pop Melantha's skill. And pop some of this too. That's kind of it. We can pop this too. Why not? Let's be safe, right? Because I don't want to do this run again. Or, or I don't want to manual this run again, so... You know. So that part's done. Uh, one of the troubleshoots is over. <clears throat> Which is great, because... It took me a little while to figure out how much, or like, you know, placements and where to put things. But it turns out this placement does work out pretty well. For the most part. Alright, so our next point is probably around 350-ish. It's probably, at like 350, 380, those two points in particular are, are highlights, I guess. Because <clears throat> 250 is where the mages will come in. I guess I should point out when the first samurai shows up too. Alright, so this is around 300. We can go ahead and remove... Oh, actually, we'll go ahead and get this last point. Here we go. We will get rid of Faye. We'll throw in Carnegie right here. So, like I said before, this this one tile in particular gets, healed, gets love from both healers. Which is very important. Hmm... And then this here's our first red samurai. Now these guys are very special because they do insane damage. But how how it works is basically when their when their HP is about halfway, and you can tell there's an indicator too uh, when their samurai swords start to become engulfed in flames. That's when you know it's about to go down. It, like he's reached super saiyan. Like his hair is turned blonde and thing things are going wild. I feel like everyone knows the Dragon Ball Z reference, so that's why I'm throwing it out there. No, I don't really watch the show. Alright, yeah. Do not hate me for that. But anyways. Here's the here's some mosquitoes for us to deal with. I didn't really explain all the other operators, did I? Well, oh I should also explain the fact that I don't have uh catapults, I don't have midnight, and I don't have the the three star unit, you know, the one with the chainsaw. I don't have her, so they, they are not options here. So, if you have them, feel free to use them. They're going to be very good. Catapult would be great in this spot because she can take out a lot of, a lot of the people that just nest here. Uh, this one you don't have to worry about, so don't worry. You maybe even pop a skill, but it's not a, it's not a big deal. Definitely want to top them off, though. Uh, yeah, everyone's doing well here. So yeah, and then maybe you, you you can throw another sniper over here across, or if you have someone better, which you most likely do, so, you know, feel, feel free to use them. Don't be shy, basically. Long story short, second samurai comes in, do not worry, no need to panic, and Melantha will take care of this just fine, or she'll, she'll tank it up just fine. Alright. Do 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 do. There we go. So far, so good. Here's the casters. Like I said before, if you have catapult here, that'll be great because you can take down most of these casters, if not all of them. Mm, I think Shura Yuki is also very good because, oh, and her range is insane. Might I add? I mean, it doesn't have to be AOE though. Just a better, just um. A stronger sniper than, than what I have, basically. Stronger sniper than the bunny ears. Blue poison here works very well too. That was my first clear. I used blue poison here. The, the damage over time really does stack up. Let's see. So we're getting pretty close to the part where we need to start paying attention. This is our first samurai. This one you do not have to worry about. You just don't pop everyone's skill. Do not freak out here. I guess you didn't freak out about... Like all of the other times that you've seen Samurais, you feel free to pop all their skills. It's not a big deal. But for this one, you know, just pop hers and you're and you're good to go. We might pop some of these other skills a little bit early to kind of make sure that no one dies here. Uh, we can survive a little bit longer. Eh, we'll and pop this. But you want to use them, I guess... Sparsely? I don't know. That's probably not the word I'm thinking of. Alright, here's the first samurai. This is the hard part. This is where it gets real. This is where... Uh, we can go ahead and pop the skill here. 
These these mages do so much damage. That seems to be where all the uh, problems are too. Go ahead and pop this skill. All right here's a second samurai, so we want to take out this one as fast as possible. As you can see, well you probably can't see. Yep, that is fine. We're we'll going to throw Fang over here. Yep. Do not panic, boys. Do not panic. We still got this. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Like, Stuart adds so much damage to this that it just makes it okay. Also, what. Also, keep in mind that you do have a, a lot of damage here. Don't don't forget that we cleared the, the damage check. Like, like look at this. One, one of the fat boys is almost down. Look at that. And this one's almost dead too. So much damage here. And then we got about 28 seconds, 33 seconds. That's perfect timing. Especially since she's here to slow everybody down. We're going to pop her skill. Make sure everyone does a good job. What nuts. There we go. You got to believe in the method. There we go. And... Oh wait, we can actually speed this up. And pop her skill while we're here. Pop this. Five more seconds until we drop our tank. There we go. We'll drop it right here where we had it last. And we speed it up. Two more enemies to go. Should be pretty easy. Uh, we don't have to drop thing. Just leave it here. Everyone does. Does not matter at this point. It is the celebration of life. Alright. And just like that, we're done. <coughs> Alright. 940, not bad. Alright guys, so I uh, hope you found that video to be helpful and you're, if you guys are trying to do it in, a, in or with only three stars, that is how you do it. Uh, there might be other ways of, of doing it, I'm not sure. This That's just the way that I figured out. So, you know, feel free to play around with different units, maybe do things differently, placements, you know, like what, like whatever. That's kind of what makes this game fun, is that there's more than one solution per per problem. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. It's dying. I should probably drink something real quick. <coughs> but yeah, like I said before, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and maybe a like, follow, or not follow, uh, sub subscribe. There we go. I'm getting my Twitch stuff set up, or mixed up, mixed up. Anyways, uh, yeah. Also, like as a, or as I already kind of hinted, I do uh, stream on Twitch. Uh, I believe it's Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, on the page, there is if you, if you scroll down a little bit, there is a timer on, on when my next stream is gonna be. So feel free to check me out, and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.